Hey you guys, I hope you are having an awesome day. It's Friday as I'm filming this and I have no energy. I'm exhausted, I barely slept. Hardly at all last night, like I felt like I slept good and then I started moving and I was really tired. I washed my hair, did this morning. It's still frizzy even after messing with it for a long time, but it is what it is, so. Today I'm basically just getting ready to film all day, um, getting ready to sit around my house, um, yeah, that's basically it because I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything, so I'm starting out with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I haven't used this in a while, but I really, really, really like it, it's awesome. I'm actually waiting for a Yes Style order to come in today with some new products to try. Not a whole lot of like makeup. I think I have like one makeup piece, but the rest of it is skincare and hair care. Using the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in True Buff Beige. My skin isn't doing too bad right now. I have a couple little breakouts, but those are hormonal. <laughs> So how have you guys been doing? Let me know down in the comments below how you've been doing, what you've been up to. I am strongly, strongly, strongly considering buying Animal Crossing. In fact, Animal Crossing is making me want to start a gaming channel. Like, I have time for that, but part of me is like, well, I could fit that in along with everything else, right? I probably couldn't. But I think I might end up getting that sometime this week, or next week, technically now. I don't know, at this point, the days are blending in together, the weeks are blending in together. So technically, Ohio is planning on reopening on May 1st, which I think is a very, very, very bad idea, considering the only people we are literally testing right now are the people who are sick enough to be admitted into the hospital. Not even people who go to the hospital, just the people who are admitted into the hospital. Um, people at the prisons and um, our doctors, nurses, and first responders. We literally have no tests for like anyone else right now. I think opening up is a very bad idea without some more rules in place. We're still not requiring masks. It's just recommended. And everyone in the state is very, very, very stubborn. So unless you make something mandatory, 70% of people won't do it just based on a recommendation. And I'm popping a bit of this underneath my eyes as well, just because I um, have been trying to use less concealer. So yeah, if I sound down or anything today, it's just because I'm on my second cup of coffee and I'm really tired still. Oh, I started watching um, Itaewon class last night. We finished up One Spring Night, which by the way, if you like K-drama romances, go watch One Spring Night. It's so cute, so romantic. It has a good ending. It's like... It doesn't have any really scary bits, anything like that in it. It does have like discussion of something scary, but nothing actually shown. So it's really good if you're more sensitive to stuff like that. Just because a lot of K-dramas that masquerade as romances end up having like some creepy kidnapper or something in it. This is not that case. Um, there's a little bit of like spousal issues in it. But um, other than that, the main storyline is actually really, really cute. And I really liked it. Like, I highly recommend it if you're into K-dramas. Um, but we watched episode one of Itaewon Class last night, and it's so good. Like, it's completely different from a lot of the things we've watched recently. But it's really fun. What's funny is me and my husband have gotten so used to watching shows with subtitles that last night we actually started watching a different show and we actually had to shut it off 
because we couldn't keep up with it without the subtitles. As in, we were having trouble. Where's my eyebrow thing? Eyebrow thing, where are you? There you are. Um, we were actually having trouble following it without having subtitles to read. That's just not, not good. But we ended up switching and I'm so happy we did it anyway because it's, I'm really excited to watch the second episode tonight. Oh, I'm just using the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This one's in the shade Brown Sugar. It's a little warmer than I would like, but it's still really pretty. But yeah, I think we're going to have major issues here if we reopen on May 1st just due to human compliance. So I think, ooh, so what I foresee happening is us opening back up, having a major spike in cases, and then having to shut back down. Just because, like, people still aren't even following the rules at the grocery store. Like, they're providing masks for the employees, like, at Target and stuff, and the grocery stores. They're providing masks, masks and gloves, but aren't requiring that people wear them. I'm like... Yeah, but only if, if only half the people are actually doing what they're supposed to do, it's not going to work. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Golden Pink. This is really, really pretty. I got this in a Sephora Play box. Speaking of Sephora Play, I actually have the April box like at my feet right now. I'm going to film with that um, probably early next week. It's actually the last Sephora Play box. They are canceling it. I am debating right now on whether or not I want to look into the new boxes they're offering. I think one of them's called like a Luxe box but um, I know it's gonna be like $25 a month, and for that much, you better be providing some really good products. So I'm using the ColourPop Soul Palette today. I really like this one if you like peaches and like browns, and I need to do my eyebrows like badly. They are like awful right now. They've just been last on my priority list. I'm just doing a light peach for that base. And I'm grabbing a slightly darker peach. The reason I use kind of a shimmery base and I'm going over it with more mattes is just because I felt like it. No other good reason. I wish I had a good reason. I don't. And I'm going in with this really bright, sparkly peach shade. This is like crazy, crazy bright. It may be too bright. Yeah. Ooh, that's like bright, bright orange. Okay, it's a little brighter than I intended on. That's okay. That happens. We can turn that down. I'm grabbing my very dirty Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going in with Vermeer, which is a pinky toned highlight. And I'm just taking Vermeer over that orange just to tone it down and soften it up a bit. It actually makes kind of a pretty color. Okay. Gonna grab my detailer brush, go back into the Soul palette with this really light peach shade. It actually looks lighter in the pan that actually goes on. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I've just been doing really soft, minimal makeup looks lately. One, because it's spring, even though it's like gray and gross outside. And also because I really haven't been wearing makeup that much because I'm in the house and unless I actually have a reason to wear makeup or I feel like wearing makeup, the rest of the time I don't care. I'm going to throw in a lip product real quick because I can feel my lips drying out. So I'm using the Fresh Sugar Rosé Lip Treatment. 
And then I'm going to be doing black eyeliner today. I'm grabbing the Stila Style Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in Intense Black. I'm sorry for any noises you guys hear in the background. Um, they canceled school for the rest of the year officially. So my husband is actually doing all supervising all of the distance learning. So yeah, if you hear noises in the background, that's what it is. There we go. Kind of a crazy wing, but it is what it is today. Clearly I have not done eyeliner enough. I'm out of practice. There we go. Ooh, they're actually somewhat similar. Yay! For mascara, I'm using this for Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. I've been trying this out recently and I actually really like it. It doesn't tend to like smear on my upper eyelid at all. And it gives a good amount of volume without being too clumpy and it's like super duper black. There we go. I really, really want to try the new magnetic eyeliner and lashes because I know the original magnetic lashes that had like a top and a bottom part sucked so I never tried them out. But I keep seeing people pretty impressed with the ones that match with an eyeliner. So I may actually give those a shot just because I love the look of lashes. I hate dealing with lash glue and removing lash glue is like the bane of my existence. I've been skipping contour a lot lately just because my face has been looking super, super chiseled and I don't need any more contour than what I already have with my natural bone structure. So I'm just going in with the Tarte Blush in the shade Fearless. It's a super bright pink. And then I'm using my old favorite. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Golden Honey. I love this highlight. It's really pretty and really natural. If you want something just soft and delicate looking. Birds are happy today. I can hear them through my closed window. All right, you guys. And since... My eyebrows are a little crazy. I'm grabbing my clear brow gel. And just locking those a bit more into place so they don't go everywhere once my bangs are touching them. So let me, ooh, before I let my hair down, I'm going to use my Morphe and Jeffree Star Scent Refresh Mist. This is really dewy, so I like using this when my skin's looking too dry. And then I need something to hands. <laughs> there we go. That looks so much better because even with this, this is supposed to be crazy dewy, but my skin has been so dry lately that this looks dry on my skin. That's crazy. If I used a matte foundation, I would probably look like the Crypt Keeper. There we go. See, that adds such a nice shine to your skin. I love it. All right, let my bangs down. Hopefully they haven't gone too crazy from being uh, pushed to the side for too long. I need a comb in here or a brush. I don't have a comb or a brush in here, but there we go. All right, you guys, and here is the finished look. I love it. I think it's really, really pretty, really soft. I know I've been doing peach a lot lately, but that's kind of like my go-to spring color is peach, and I haven't been feeling any super out there makeup looks today. Like, this wing is about as dramatic as I've gone with my makeup lately, just because... I haven't felt into just about anything. Like, I've been wanting to just completely be a slug lately, and I don't have that option, but 
you know, that's kind of just how I've been feeling and I'm sure you guys can totally relate to that. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video or at least found it somewhat entertaining. Hopefully me being all blah didn't bring your day down and if anything made you guys feel like, oh, okay, someone else feels like just crawling up under the covers and turning into a burrito all day long because that's, I would quite happily be a burrito today. Anyway, if you guys liked it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere, though I am mostly on Twitter. Um, also, leave a comment with any videos you want to see, anything you've been doing, anything you've been loving. I would love to hear from you guys, and I get back to you as often and as fast as I can around the other things I have to take care of. So thank you guys again so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.